When a market enters a phase of sharp volatility, most traders focus only on the price drop, but the real insight comes from understanding why the move happened and what it means for the underlying asset. Today's breakdown explores Bitmine, BMNR, from that perspective. Instead of reacting to emotion or fear, we'll analyze BMNR through data, market mechanics, and the broader crypto environment that has shaped its recent performance. Welcome to Big B USA Stock, your daily source for U.S. stock market updates, trends, and insights. Stay ahead, stay informed. Subscribe now for daily update. This video is for educational purposes only. It is not financial advice. Always do your own research before making any investment decisions. Over the past several weeks, the entire crypto market has been under pressure. Bitcoin has fallen sharply, Ethereum has experienced significant pullbacks, and naturally BMNR, which is built as a leveraged proxy on Ethereum, has moved even more aggressively in response. Current charts show BMNR down roughly 40% in just one month. Rather than viewing this as a panic signal, the goal is to understand the core drivers behind the decline, the fundamentals behind BMNR's treasury, upcoming catalysts, and the macro events that triggered this synchronized drop across digital assets. Bitmine, BMNR, continues to hold one of the largest Ethereum treasuries in the industry. Their current balance sheet shows around 3.6 million ETH, or 3% of the circulating supply. This accumulation has been relentless for months, with nearly 26,000 ETH bought per day since July. That translates to around $75 million to $80 million in daily purchasing power, something no other treasury-style crypto company is doing at this scale. Along with that, BMNR is holding around $800 million in cash, nearly 200 BTC, and a sizable position in additional digital assets. The treasury value recently hovered around $11 plus billion, depending heavily on Ethereum's price range between $2,800 to $2,900. One of the major questions circulating has been the source of BMNR's large cash reserve. This capital comes from their ATM activity, as BMNR is one of the highest volume publicly traded crypto-related equities. With trading volumes north of $1.6 billion per day, the company has been able to steadily build cash reserves that they plan to deploy strategically, particularly when Ethereum enters deeper discount zones. Analysts expect that this dry powder will be deployed under the guidance of BMNR's newly strengthened leadership team. BMNR's Q4 filings revealed around 384 million outstanding shares. Using this updated share count, their NAV based on ETH's approximate 2800 price currently sits around $28.29 per share. When applying the moderate premium BMNR typically trades at during bullish cycles, MAV range 1.2, 1.6 historically, the fair value range expands meaningfully. Staking projections at ETH's common yields of around 3% could generate over $300 million annually once BMNR fully activates its validator network, something planned for Q1 of 2026. The company has already started developing its validator infrastructure, branded as the Made in America Validator Network. This move is not just about yield generation, it strengthens the Ethereum network by improving decentralization and security. BMNR is currently testing the system with multiple groups before scaling it across their entire 3.6 million ETH stack. Once live, staking returns will become a major component of BMNR's revenue stream. Institutional confidence in BMNR continues rising as well. Several large firms, including Morgan Stanley, ARK Invest, BlackRock, Jane Street, Citadel, Vanguard, Pantera, JP Morgan, Vanek, and others have increased positions in BMNR according to NASDAQ filings. Institutional ownership recently climbed to around 23%, demonstrating increased interest from large financial players who recognize BMNR as a long-term Ethereum-backed asset. To analyze BMNR properly, it is essential to understand Ethereum's volatility patterns. This is not a stable value asset. ETH regularly experiences drops of 30% to 60% even in strong market cycles. Earlier this year, ETH retraced 60% before recovering over 250% within a few months. BMNR, being a leveraged ETH proxy, amplifies these moves both upward and downward. Expecting BMNR to avoid large swings is unrealistic. Historically, Ethereum corrections in the current market cycle include a 38% drop, a 60% drop, and the recent 45% decline, all followed by substantial rebounds. The recent crypto-wide sell-off was not caused by a fundamental breakdown. Instead, several identifiable events triggered a cascading decline. 1. Early-era whales selling. Long-time Bitcoin holders from 2010-2012 sold billions in assets. 
Galaxy Digital reported assisting a single holder in selling around 9.5B of BTC. Events like this create initial shockwaves. Number 2. Government Shutdown, 43 Days The longest shutdown in history temporarily froze major financial activity, causing liquidity stress. The Treasury General account was rebuilt to nearly $1 trillion, pulling liquidity temporarily from markets. 3. Reverse Repo, RRP Drainage, RRP balances dropping to near zero indicate that banks have little excess liquidity available for parking, signifying tight financial conditions. 4. Massive Liquidation Event On October 10, an announcement regarding potential 100% tariffs on Chinese imports triggered panic selling. Bitcoin fell nearly 18% in hours. The crypto market then experienced the largest liquidation cascade in its history, around $19 billion liquidated in a single day. A glitch in stablecoin pricing on certain exchanges triggered automatic deleveraging, liquidating even profitable accounts. Over 2 million accounts were affected. This chain reaction explains why assets like BTC and ETH collapsed simultaneously, dragging BMNR down with them. Despite volatility, none of the primary bullish fundamentals for BTC, ETH, or BMNR have changed. Adoption continues rising. Institutional inflows continue. Validator infrastructure is expanding. Liquidity from the Federal Reserve is expected to slowly return as QT wins down. Rate cut probabilities are increasing according to CME and prediction markets, and BMNR's accumulation strategy remains intact. Looking ahead, several price pathways emerge based on ETH's historical recovery patterns. If Ethereum retraces to $4,000 to $5,000 within Q1 2026, something consistent with previous rebound cycles, BMNR's NAV would likely move toward $56 to $74 depending on MNAV premium. If ETH revisits $8,000 plus in Q2 2026, BMNR's fair value could approach $84 or $118. Should ETH return to $11,000 to $12,000 by Q4 2026, BMNR could approach or exceed $160 to $180 based purely on treasury valuation, excluding additional factors such as staking revenue. The takeaway is straightforward. BMNR's movement is entirely tied to Ethereum's macro trajectory. Ethereum remains a volatile asset with strong fundamental growth and rapid recovery patterns. BMNR magnifies Ethereum's returns, meaning large drawdowns are inherently part of the asset's behavior. Long-term performance relies on understanding volatility, not fearing it. BMNR has only operated under its current Ethereum treasury model for a few months far too short a time frame to expect sustained exponential returns. Those approaching BMNR with day trading expectations will likely struggle with such a volatile asset. Historically, patience during these drawdowns is what differentiates successful long-term outcomes from emotional exits. As Ethereum recovers, BMNR is positioned to recover even more sharply because of its treasury scale, institutional backing, strategic cash reserve, and upcoming validator network. The focus remains on treasury value, ETH accumulation rate, staking yield expansion, and liquidity returning to global markets. With these elements combined, BMNR remains a high-volatility, high-potential play tied directly to Ethereum's long-term growth. This was Big B Stock USA bringing you the latest updates from the U.S. markets. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more.